be very difficult when you're in business with someone like that, especially like an executive, some slick character in a, in a fine suit, to find out exactly what his real <laughs> motives really are. They're never in fine suits. Never? Never. How do they dress? In appalling suits. Really? Yeah. I mean, business <laughs> does never encourage fine suits. No the pocket squares? <laughs> Guys, we've all seen them. We've all seen them. And let's just be honest, some of us have been there. We've all seen that guy. We've all we've all at one time or another, unless you were lucky enough to have a real stylish person in your life mentoring you, you've been this guy. And by this guy, you you know what I mean with the jacket that that goes over uh, you know, that's hanging down on your thumb bone. The um you know, just just it sits it sits big. You know what I mean? Makes you look bigger than you actually are. Um, you know the pants that are you know that are bunched up around the legs. They too baggy. You know, you know what I mean? These just we the the um the the button up shirt. You know, with the with the pocket <laughs> with the with the chest pocket and and the button down. You know what I mean? We've all seen it. We've all seen it. And let's just be honest, like no pocket square or, you know, just guys, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. I hate to lie to you, but it, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. And he, he he's going to make a joke or he made the joke <laughs> about how women, women will see something. And then they'll try to get their husbands to do it. Well, they're trying to get their husbands to do it because it's attractive. Why is it attractive? Occasionally you find a token pocket square, but you can tell their heart's not in it. <laughs> the wife stuck it in there because she saw someone on TV that had a mm. bit of razzle-dazzle about them. And they thought, oh, I quite fancy my old man wearing one of them. And they sort of stick it in. The old man's a bit embarrassed about it and tries to squeeze it out of the way. You see that? Women are attracted to it. She, she saw it. She saw someone... Who, who knew how to dress. She saw someone who knew how to dress and she wanted to get her husband to do it. See, women have influence on these types of things. And the truth of the matter is, dudes, y'all need to wake up and listen. It's important. <laughs> Suits are a thing. The death of the suit, it was the death of the suit, was the prosaic attitude toward I'm going to work. And I've got to wear a suit. Yeah. And I've got to put a tie on. And I don't want to stick out. That's how I feel. But that, that's, that's what's happened. We've been brainwashed to not dress like gentlemen. But I see a guy like you and I say, that's appealing. Like, look how you're dressed. And you're in a conservative suit. This is... Mm. Let's unpack that. Right? Let's unpack that. Because Joe Rogan just said... He's the type of guy that doesn't feel comfortable in a suit. But why is that? It's because we in the West, and I'm going to single you out specifically, black culture, because you have more to lose. But we in the West have decided to accept this level of mediocrity, and we have shunned and rebuked the idea that, that dressing well is not masculine or dressing well is for the squares dressing well is not something to be is is not something that should be stri uh, striven towards why why have you allowed these people to manipulate and twist and put the image in the idea Show the video of Allen Iverson bragging about not being able to, uh, or about uh, breaking the mold of wearing suits in the NBA. All these entertainers, all these celebrities that the black culture and the black community chooses to embrace and celebrate, all of them are leading you down, down towards roads that aren't going to benefit you in the long run. Guess what? 
You're not an entertainer. If you're not an entertainer and you're not an athlete, then chance, yeah, chances are you don't. You can get by. Uh, you look. If you're an entertainer or an athlete, yeah, the chances are you might be able to get by without not being able to present yourself properly. But if you are a normal person, you have to make the road that you go down. Let's just be honest. If you didn't come from some rich family, some some high middle class family that can support your endeavors, you have to make the road. And guess what? Some of that means you have to get opportunities. That means you have to you have to be in rooms. And get, guess what? There's a thing called the halo effect. The halo effect means when people see see good things about you, i.e., how you dress, being more attractive, then guess what? They they attribute more good traits about you. It's a subconscious bi uh, cognitive bias type thing. So, like basically. What, what that means is when you know that, you have to learn to use and exploit it. Exploit it by making the best pre uh, presentation you can. But no, you want to be comfortable. That nice. And, and the other thing, I'm going to address the comfortable thing. For those of you, if, 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 if a suit isn't comfortable for you, then you need to get a better fitting suit. You need to get something that fits better. Fit is king. Like, I'm sure you could wear any suit you wanted, but you chose a shirt that has a certain look to it. Yeah, I have. Now, back to that. <laughs> now, let's get on that. Joe Rogan also pointed out, look at his suit. He's not wearing a flashy suit. He's wearing a well-fitted conservative suit. You look at the suit. You look, um, you, look you can tell. You can tell, okay? That's a good navy suit. Good for any occasion, any man, anywhere. Doesn't matter your complexion. Doesn't matter your skin tone. You can pull off a navy suit. It's the most versatile suit in the world. Like, there is no nothing ver more versatile than the navy suit. 100%, okay? You look at his shirt, right? Okay? Pinstripe shirt. Pinstripe shirt, the striped shirt, classic. These are these are style essentials. Navy tie. Look at the sh look at the collar of the shirt. You see how it sits underneath the lapels and it's not real close. That's a quality shirt. The pocket square, the gap between uh, the space between the uh, the sleeve of the jacket and the sleeves of the of, of the shirt. All these things matter. See, the thing is, you're uncomfortable with suits because you have never been exposed to it. You don't see men wearing suits the right way. That's why. And you're letting these people who never had the experience and who don't mean any good for the community, they're just self-serving, then you're letting them encourage you to be, be to, uh, to not reach your full potential. Malcolm X was in a suit. Martin Luther King was in a suit. Jesse James was in a suit. Uh, I mean, Jesse Jackson was in a suit. I'm sorry. Uh, all these important people, they wear suits, not because, oh, oh, it may, oh, it's just so comfortable. It can be, it can be, but the reason is because of, of what it symbolizes and the image that it projects. That's what's important. Spent some time asking around with this, Joe, but a bit like the same reason that we spent our time asking around with the old pocket square. It's, I remember thinking how much I found the suit repugnant and I became angry that the suit had been robbed from us. <laughs> And so I had to create an alibi, a way in, to understand why it is that I'd like a suit. This was the magic of Ralph Lauren. The magic of Ralph Lauren, nice Jewish boy from New York called Lipschitz, created a waspy empire. There's a wonderful expression that, you know, think Yiddish, dress British. And Ralph Lauren created this great empire and resold the waspy world back to the waspy world. Oh, you Actually, not to the waspy world, because... In England, there was a sort of resentment about 
Savile Row traditional tailoring because it had been robbed from them. The offices had come along, the number crunchers had come along, and there was no creativity in the suit. A suit needs to be creative. The person that puts it on can't be putting it on because he's told to put it on. He's got to want to put it on. So what Ralph did is he fashioned up this sort of quasi-New England world and sold. He he took on a trope, he took on a cliché, and he refashioned that cliché to give it a new sense of life, a new sense of breadth. He put black people in the suits where traditionally it was just a white man's suit. He made it feel new, he gave it a take. So what he did is he tipped his hat the old world, but also tipped his hat the new world. And it allowed wasps to find their way back into the world with an eloquent narrative. It was clever. Yeah. The main takeaway that I want you guys to take away from this video, because that guy was dropping a lot of jewels. It was a lot of jewels. A lot of jewels. But it's important because you guys, when I say you guys, I mean the black community specifically. But this extends to other races too. You've been convinced that dressing well and that presenting yourself well is something to be ashamed of or is something to be is something is something to be frowned upon and to be honest i mean it's not it, it it's not and the re like i said earlier the reason why you don't know how to what's the way to say this the reason why the suit feels uncomfortable is because you're not getting the right suit you're not wearing the right suit so what i've done is i've created a book that's going to help you get an intro introductory period uh introductory course into the world of suits and honestly Honestly, I mean, for for the value, I mean, you can look, you can look it up. There there are studies, the halo effect, all these things play a key role in adding success into your life. And why wouldn't you want to present the best you possible? So check check it out in the uh, the description. The art of dapperness, uh, the volume one, focusing on the suit. And yeah, I mean, honestly, be, just just be great. Don't. Don't let people tell you that, you know what I mean, being being well-dressed is something that you should be ashamed of. When you put on a suit, you become powerful. You become powerful, and that's the truth.